Okay. Ooh. Long time no see. <laughs> oh my god, I've never been so busy in my life. And then a friend came down and we went shooting for three days. And then we drove up to Indianapolis and that's me obviously next to the owner of Robert's camera. What an awesome dude. Um a uh feels like I haven't made videos in a few days. <laughs> First I was sick, and then I was like burned out, just tired, wasted. Um, no, not wasted from drinking. I don't drink alcohol or anything like that. Just tired, exhausted, because I actually average about five hours a day of answering emails and comments. Um, you know, before starting off this video about why I'm actually buying the uh, GFXR rangefinder, and of course I'll post up the receipt showing that I paid full retail for it like everybody else did, same thing with the X-T3, which I did when I purchased it. Is that one of the dumbest things that I keep seeing over and over again is that uh, people keep... Uh, <laughs> they also they'll look at a, like an online blog, a review of either the GFX when it came out. And that's actually the only camera I was shooting with the past several days when uh, we were out, uh, me and my buddy. Uh, people will be looking at the images from the GFX or posting images from the GFX-R rangefinder. Uh, I know it's called the GFX-50R, but that's kind of a BS model designation. Just call it a GFX-R. Everybody knows it's a 50 megapixel rangefinder camera, digital rangefinder styled camera. The people looking at the image, like, they, they all say the same thing, which is really kind of stupid. And it's okay to be ignorant about some things, but you know how you kind of like don't post very big images to either Flickr? or to Instagram especially, people will say, geez, I was looking at the images <laughs> from that GFX camera, and they're just not all that impressive. I think I could do the same thing with my, uh, with my uh, X-T2 or X-T3 or my Nikon. Well, those are not like full resolution images. I mean, if you ever clicked on, and everybody that does click on like a, uh, a uh, RAW file from the GFX, if it's a decent image, they'll just go, oh my god, that's amazing! So, yeah, all those people that are looking at blog spots and Instagram and Flickr and looking at uh, GFX images, whether it's from the uh, 50S or the new uh, R rangefinder, of course they're not all that incredibly spectacular as viewed from, you know, a JPEG platform. And that's all I'm doing with the uh, GFX files onto Instagram. Obviously, they're just JPEG images. I mean, what, what do you expect me to upload? Um, the question I keep getting asked over and over again, since the sensor and the image processing engine are identical on the GFX-R as they are on the current camera, the 50S, which I own, as well as every lens made for it, why the hell would I buy it? And I've been saving up for that camera now for five months plus i mean knew it was coming for a long time now the answer to that is is that ever since um kind of like the way back in the days of bef just before photography school is like I, I dreamt of having the nikon uh, f4s it was just like the quintessential you know aha 35 millimeter can it's the same thing here when uh digital photography medium format first hit the scene and it was like insanely expensive people think medium format digital is expensive now you should have seen it when it first came out i mean oh my god it was expensive um when medium format uh, digital first hit uh the one thing the one camera that i dreamt of was a relatively small and there's no such thing as small medium format but relatively small and moderately uh, priced, or reasonably priced, I should say, uh, medium format digital camera. Really and truly, the aha moments to me were the Nikon uh, D4, just like as the camera that really, and also too, the X-T2. There's actually three cameras that I've had aha moments about that I know that that's the one camera and I know I've got a dozen cameras. What I need is another camera. I did sell off a couple old cameras. The AHA cameras that I knew that I absolutely, undeniably, unquestionably wanted most of all. And uh, the, the one of those three cameras is the uh, new rangefinder that's coming out. I've always wanted a this kind of uh, medium format digital camera. 
basically a rangefinder style or a you know a moderately compact and uh, a lot of people keep uh, complaining about the price but the price the the GFXR as well as the GFX 50s are the fastest medium format uh, cameras uh, the best priced medium format cameras. Uh, honestly, the best built. I don't know if you've had your hands on a $40,000 Phase 1. Most people haven't, but if you do, it's not much different than a Hasselblad. I mean, we're talking about a lot of squishy plastic on a really, really, really expensive camera. That camera cost $12,000 more than my house in Florida cost me. I paid $32,000 for that house. Two bedroom, two bath, on a really nice uh, piece of land in a really nice neighborhood. Of course, that was back in 2010. Um, but that's a really plasticky camera. I mean, truly plasticky. Um, people need to keep that in perspective. That's actually the one camera that I've, that I know undeniably been waiting for. It's a game changer. It is a game changer. You do not also buy that camera for autofocus speeds. Like, well, uh, some of these idiots on diaper review, and there's a couple buffoons over there that uh, reviewed the camera, and they're like, oh, it's just not that. F it's medium format. It's not meant to compete with an Icon D850 or an Icon D5 or Sony A7R3 or even an X-T3 or X-T2 camera. Medium format is for one thing only, ultimate image quality. Nobody buys medium format because it has fast autofocus. All of these red herring BS YouTube videos and idiots that never grew up with medium format don't know what medium format is, making all these uh, comparisons, you know. Uh, anyway, so that's the one camera that I, I've been w waiting for for many, many, many years. And I know this video is kind of amusing video, but I keep getting asked, well, why the hell are you buying that camera? You've already got the camera with the same sensor and image engine in it. Because that is a camera I've been looking and waiting for for a really, really long time. And uh, it'll be here in three weeks or so. Uh, well, November 28th ship date. Uh, but there are those three aha moments to me of cameras that I've desperately been waiting for. It's X-T2, the Nikon D4, and uh, the Rangefinder uh, GFX camera. Um, I really, really do want the Rangefinder GFX, um, uh, undeniably. But I still laugh at all those times where people look at Instagram and Flickr images, whether they're mine or other people's, and they go, geez, this image doesn't look all that impressive. I think I could do the same. That's, uh, you're, you're looking at like a high-resolution JPEG. You know, go look at a full-blown RAW file from the GFX. Huge, like an uncompressed TIFF. Go look at a full-size... 140 megabyte or so uh, TIFF file from the GFX. Serious, serious difference. Um, so yeah, I wanted to make this video. I've been meaning to make this video for quite some time because I keep getting asked that question and it's just the one camera that I, I've desperately wanted for many, many years and, you know. Hey, I sold a few things that I've been saving up to get it. I mean, who are you to complain about what I want? Um, I've had a lot of people actually tell me, a lot of people ask me about the GFXR, specifically about the lenses to get, because I own every lens. And that's also a great, another great thing. I already have all the damn lenses for the GFXR. Um, so I won't, I won't be in want of any lenses for that camera. Right now there are a lot of great deals going on with the Rangefinder GFX. If you buy it, you basically get one of several different lenses for like next to nothing. You know, I say that now because the prices shift and change all the damn time. I don't want to say anything specific because someone will say, Oh, you said so-and-so in the video, and I looked, and that's not exactly what I found. It's like, well, the prices are always changing. Anyway, I'm rambling on excessively. I know someone's going to bitch about it. Ah, you talk too much. You could have said all this in five minutes. You're right. You know, I'm the devil. I suck. It took me too long to say something. <laughs> Sorry about that. I haven't made videos for four days. I must be rusty. Thank you. Fuji. <laughs>